What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's Dan here. I'd like to welcome you guys back to The Walking Dead Season 3 or uh, New Frontier, whichever you prefer. Either way, guys, it has been, well, you know what? Just about three months. Actually, yeah, I think three months since the first two episodes came out in their debut. Uh, I think a lot of people were rather annoyed with this choice because... Well, look at it. They had to wait that much longer for an episode. I understand why they did it, because they gave people two episodes right off the get-go. So I knew it was going to take at least two months uh, before we'd get another episode. But we're here and we're back. And if you guys remember, it was actually last year. That's what's so crazy. It was the end of the year in December that we played the last episode, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, it, we left off on a bit of a cliffhanger. The reaction that it left on made my, like, you guys voted on it to be number one for best reaction of 2016. But either way, without me blabbing too much, guys, we're going to get back into this start. Episode three, Above the Law. Let's do it. Previously on The Walking Dead. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. Pipo's awake. Solamente está confundido. Mamá. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Thanks. Mari! Oh, shit! Kate! I have to stay with my family. Go. I'll hold him off. I said go. Hey. What do we call you? Sorry. Forgot to introduce myself. It's Paul, but my friends call me Jesus. I fucking knew it. You're one of them? You're goddamn right she is. If you want to shoot me, shoot me. How about I shoot your little boyfriend here instead? <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell's going on out here? Oh my god. And here we go, picking things up from that very, very controversial moment. I just can't wait to see what's going to happen here. But of course, we're not going to get into that just yet. A bit more flashbacks. So close to dark. It's harder to see them coming. We're just going to get that propane and then come right back. I, I saw it in that pickup truck parked down the road a little in front of the Wallace's house. I just wish there was an easier way to get it and that we didn't have to risk life and limb every damn day for food and water and gas for the stove. Nothing's easy anymore, Kate. But that doesn't mean we don't have to try. <sighs> I know. It's just hard to get used to, that's all. We get over there, we grab the tank, and we get the hell back home. If we're lucky, we won't see a single one of those things. <sighs> Fingers crossed. There it is. Let's take it and go. I'm a little cautious about this. Someone could shoot it and blow it up. Empty. You've got to be fucking kidding me. God damn it! If it were empty, it wouldn't have made that much noise. Or Why would we get that lucky? I mean, it's not like we needed it or anything. Easy, Kate. Maybe there's something else we can use in there. Yeah, okay. Maybe. But we came out here for that tank. I just thought... This one time, we deserve to catch a fucking break. Whoa! 
Get him off me! Smack a bitch! It's a little boy though! What do you do to that? What the hell? I hit up! Ah! That's why I hit that like six times. Keep your hammer now! Fucking hammer! Oh god, it's brutal! <laughs> Fuck Kate! I'm sorry. I was just so fucking scared. You froze. It's okay. I wanted to kill it. I really did, but... I know him. That was one of Gabe's friends. True. He was so sweet. He always had a smile on his face. That's not Drew anymore. I know it, it still looks like him, but... The kid you knew, he's gone. All that's left is this... thing. I don't even know what to call them. If they're not people, if they're just the dead... <sighs> Muertos. That's what we'll call them. I thought we were gonna die. I thought Gabe and Mariana were just gonna wake up and we would just be gone. I'm right here, okay? I'm here, you're here, we're still alive. That's what matters. <sighs> Can we go back now? That throws such a chain into the, you know, into the mix. Like now that you know, what's his name? Sorry, I forget his name. David? Was it David? So it's been a while. Now that we know he's alive, it just makes things so much more complicated. Like, right as these two, because these two have been through a lot together, man. These four, really. I know we all wanted to stay here in the house and wait for David to come back. But it's been three months since he drove away with your mom. What are you saying? We're not safe here. Not anymore. You and I could have been killed out there. For an empty can. There's got to be a safer place out there. So, we'll leave. Go somewhere else. Somewhere safer. Somewhere with crazy thick walls, okay? And a gate that's 20 feet tall. You really think the kids are going to be happy with this plan? The kids will understand. And if they don't, we'll just make them see it our way. We have to go. How come? What if I don't want to leave? Cave. We're safe inside the house. We're tired of being afraid. Every time we leave you guys alone. And it's just getting worse out there. Better to leave now. While we still can. But what about Dad? What's he gonna think if he shows up and we, we just ditched him? We might never find him again. Your dad would want us to do this, Gabe. He'd want us to survive. We've been surviving. Here. At home. Barely. I'm sorry, Gabe. But... Javi's right. Uh, how about... You guys go and I stay here? You're a kid. That's not how it works. I can take care of myself. If I need any help, I'll just... Ask my friends. Gabe... Honey... What? What's what's wrong with her? Why is she acting so weird? Uncle Javi? Nothing's wrong with her. She's just a, a little shook up. That's all. We can't lie to him, Javi. He needs to know. Will you guys just tell me what's going on? Your friend, Drew, from down the street? He... He didn't make it. He... he turned into one of them. So you understand why, don't you? Why we have to leave? If that happened to you, I couldn't bear it. When do we have to go? Tomorrow, as soon as it's daylight. I want to leave him a note. I'll help you get started. Okay? What are we gonna tell him? I want to say something good. 
Just tell him we love him. All of us. And nothing's gonna change that. Not ever. I like that. I'm gonna write it right now, so we don't forget. Of course. I'll help him. Thank you. Really. You know, I can only imagine, like, we don't really think about it, but, you know, in the event of an emergency or something crazy like this, you'd have to peace out, you know what I mean? But it would be difficult leaving all that behind, you know, what all you've ever really known. And just, and then, who, like, just the thought of someone busting down your house to, you know, to scrounge whatever's left inside, you know? It'd just be kind of sad. No muertos here, baby. Let's get out. Dad? Javi? Is that really you? I always hoped I'd find you. God, you have no idea how good it is to see your face. I think I got a pretty decent idea, actually. I knew you were still alive. I knew it. Hey, weapons down. This is my family. You gotta let us in. Kate doesn't have much longer. Jesus. Kate! David? I'm here, honey. I'm right here. What the hell happened? She's been shot, and we got the bullet out, but she's still bleeding. We need your doctor. Now, David. Thanks, Javi, for getting her here. She's coming inside! But she hasn't been checked! This is my wife, Max. You want her to die? No, I didn't say that! Our doctor's gonna help you, honey. I'm gonna make sure of it. Wait, I I'm going with you. Sorry, but the rest of you have to go straight to quarantine. What for? All newcomers get checked for bites, and they all have to answer a couple of questions. Our doctor will clear the two of them, but the rest of you have to come with me to the quarantine holding area. Just cooperate. That's how we keep it safe for everyone. Fine. Let's just get this over with. Hobby. Make my job easy, would you? Listen to your friend. They're gonna do it anyway. <sighs> Whatever you say. Let's go. I gotta, you gotta remember though, every single thing you say could bite you in the ass at some point. But the thing is, I wanna tell David that the reason his daughter and his, his daughter's dead and his wife got shot is because of their fucking trigger happy men. I gotta let him know. Trip. Oh God, Eleanor. When we found the car without you in it. I didn't know what to think. The engine up and died. I came here looking for help, and this happened. I've been so worried about Kate. I told them she needed a doctor. They promised me someone would look into it. Well, luckily we found her before she got any worse. They just took her to the hospital. I can't believe no one went to look for her. I'm sorry, Javi. Really, but... 
I didn't have any reason not to believe them. What? The people here in Richmond, their new frontier. Oh my god. Oh, ho, ho, you ain't even heard the worst part yet. One of them's his brother. I didn't even know you had a brother, Javi. Hey, nobody's more surprised than me. I, I thought the guy was dead. We haven't seen David in years. It's just been me, Kate, and the kids this whole time. I don't even want to think about what the odds are, but he did seem pretty damn surprised to see you. Whoever this guy is, he can't be all bad, right? I mean, he helped Kate instead of hauling her down here. Of course he brought her inside. She's his damn wife. You're kidding. Kate is married to your brother? The way you two acted around each other. I just didn't think she had a husband out there, is all. Let's just say it's complicated, all right? Maybe it's my fault for jumping to conclusions. Makes sense you'd be so close, considering... Family drama aside, hope you know I'm not about to make nice with New Frontier. I know you didn't have much stake in Prescott, Hobby, but they burned that place to the ground for no fucking reason. After everything you folks told me, I'm guessing I'm not gonna find my people alive. Hell, Hobby. They killed your niece! Shot Kate! For all we know, your brother could have been behind it. And even if it wasn't his idea in the first place, if he knew about it and didn't stop it, that shit can't stand. I hate to admit it, but there's a chance he gave the order. If he didn't know it was them, if he was just trying to get paid back for what was stolen, it... it's possible. What was he like when you knew? You guys get along? He seemed happy enough to see you up there, at least at first. No matter what he might show to other people, he's got a good heart. Might be buried under a ton of shit, but it's in there. Well, let's just hope he's the same guy you remember. If your brother knew anything about what happened in Prescott, he's got to answer for it. They all do. I owe that to Conrad. I'm not just gonna let things slide. I've never really been an eye for eye kind of man. But people died. We need to even out the scales. We need to look like we're playing along with their rules. Go along with what they say, for now. Then, when the time is right, that's when we demand justice. Hey. Hey. I would have been here sooner, but I had to take care of... something. Come on already, Kate's asking for you. Maybe you think it's okay to keep a lady waiting. Thought I taught you better than that. Lead the way. Gladly. Looks like the rules don't apply to everyone, huh? That's right. Some people get out of here early. Others stay a long fucking time. Trip. Just drop it, okay? Smart cookie, this one. Javi. Just go. I'll be back as soon as I can. You know that. Thanks. I am just so... I have no idea where this is going to go from here, you know? A little bit of southern hospitality. Go along with them for now? That doesn't sound good. We have a process. Our own way of doing things. Your guys better not have a problem with that. Things don't go well for troublemakers here. I hope that's clear. No problem. You won't have to worry about them. 
Didn't sound that way. They just need time to get used to things. I hope you're right. Come on. Where are we going? Kate asked for you. I thought you'd want to check on her. Listen, Javi, Gabe... He told me some pretty messed up things. Things I need your help wrapping my head around. He shouldn't have done that. I... wanted to tell you myself. Bad news is bad news. Who cares who delivers it? He told me you lost Mariana. Just a few days ago. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, David. She's... She's gone. And you know whose fucking fault that is? It's strange grieving for the same person twice. Like losing something you didn't know you had. What was she like, Javi? She was so little when we got separated. Who did my little girl become? We got along well. Her smile kept me going through a lot of rough times. That... must have been nice. How? How did she die? Tell me how it happened. Please, I need to know. She was just standing there, minding her own business. She just found her lost headphones in the dirt. She was smiling. And then someone put a bullet in her head. What kind of animal would just open fire on her like that? An animal with your mark. My people aren't in the habit of killing little girls. David, I was there. They shot Kate, too. Ask your buddy at the gate if you don't believe me. Max was a part of this? Fuck. I need details. What the hell went down out there? I need to know exactly what happened. Everything you remember. Bastards knocked me out and threw me in their truck. I got away near this town, Prescott. The same assholes attacked us there. Their leader flooded it with walkers and, and tear gas. Leader? A crazy bald guy with a beard. Badger, what the fuck have you done now? I'm gonna handle that stupid son of a bitch, okay? Do me a favor, keep this to yourself. The politics here, they can get messy. I thought you were the boss. There's four of us that run, Richmond. You need to impress the other three. Or you'll be back on the road by morning. So we're probably going to be given an option. Stir things up. You and your friends could have a very short stay. I can be impressive when I try. I'll follow your lead. Just don't get cute. I run security here, but it's not like my word is law. This shit with Badger doesn't make things any easier. Who's the fresh meat? Ava. This is my brother, Javi. The baseball brother? <laughs> no shit. What are the chances of you turning up on the doorstep? Welcome to civilization. It's a pleasure to meet you, Ava. Oh, is it now? <laughs> you didn't say he was a gentleman, David. That's because he's not. Ava's my right hand. If there's anyone you can trust in Richmond, it's her. woman, the fucking soldier. She was the first person I met up with after you and me got separated. I never would have made it without her. Gabe said you went back to the house at the start. I'm sorry I never found you. It doesn't matter now. We found each other in the end. It matters to me. My mom and I got routed out of the city on the way to the hospital. It wasn't long before she... Poor Mama. I couldn't get back into Baltimore, so I hooked up with my old unit. We thought we could build a safe zone outside D.C. After what happened to Mama, 
and everyone else. I thought you were all dead. But you were taking care of them, weren't you? Somehow you found a way. We took care of each other, and we all had each other's backs. You've changed, brother. It took the end of the world, but you finally grew up. This is where they're treating Kate. Don't get comfortable. We're not staying long. Hey! Hey, kid. Got everything you need? Uh, yeah. This place is like a resort. Check it out, Javi! Noodles in a cup. We need to get you some real food. Stat, turn you into a soldier. <laughs> Javi, I'm glad you're okay. I was gonna say the same about you. Damn, it's good to have you back. Look at this family. Look at my wife. Isn't she the most beautiful woman alive? Come on. With the lights off, you could mistake me for a walker. A damn fine walker. I'd have to agree. The key word being alive. Game. Uh, what, you okay? Uh, me. Oh, shit. I'll get the doc. I'm fine. I just needed to talk to you, alone. I'm scared, Javi. More than I was the whole time on the road. Even when I thought I was going to die, everything inside me screams to get away from here. These people are killers. And David? David threw his own brother in a cell. Let's just get you better, Kate. And the facilities here... I don't care about facilities. We did fine without them before. You didn't have a ruptured spleen before. These people nearly killed me, Javi. David's people. Have you forgotten, Mari? Of course not. It's always been you and me on the road, Javi. That's how we've made it this far. Please, promise me we'll go back to that. The first chance we get. This place. It's a cage. I hear you, Kate. But we can't just turn our backs on this place. On my brother. Javi. We have to try to make it work. I used to say that about my fucked up marriage. Guess it still applies. <sighs> Whatever. Just, please. Please don't leave me alone for too long. Feeling better? How you doing, sweetheart? David reported some pain. It's less now. Strange how it just comes and goes. I think she pulled her stitches when she sat up. Her stitches? I doubt it. But pain often comes in waves with abdominal wounds. <laughs> I'll give you something to take the edge off, in case it comes back. Truly superlative work. I thought I'd have to operate, but all she needed was IV fluids and some antibiotics. How did you find someone with skills like these? A wound like this kills 9 out of 10. Whoever did this really knows their stuff. We got lucky. We met a group with a medic, Eleanor, just before Kate got shot. The same group in quarantine now. She's there now? We should let her out. I'll vouch for her. Agreed. I'll have Ava bring her here. I want to meet this Eleanor. I'm sure she'll be an asset to our community. You can vouch for the rest of them too, right? It doesn't work that way. But we'll make the case for them soon. Javi and I have to go meet some people now. See if we can't prove he's worth a damn. We're gonna take real good care of you. Okay? Send my apologies, David. I won't be able to make it. Feeling okay? Fine. I just want to keep an eye on my patient. The others know my vote is with you. Come on. Remember what I said. When we meet these guys, keep what happened to Mariana to yourself. Badger is one of my guys. And I will handle him.
You know, I'm going to do that. I'm going to play it safe. I'm not going to spout out. I'm going to make sure they know. But this is a really complicated situation. I don't know how it's going to proceed. I don't know what's really going to go down. It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> No complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden, or a baked delicacy by yours truly. Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. I always do what I'm told. Ask my older brother. You're gonna fit in well, Javi. I can see that already. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. That looks pretty intense. Doesn't it hurt? It's burned into your flesh. Of course it fucking hurts. It's a sign of commitment, not a Buddhist symbol from your year abroad. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. You can't protect people, Joan. Not completely. Not anymore. <sighs> You're probably right. That doesn't mean we don't have to try. Max, what are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. 
I had no idea it belonged to you. You just asked. We'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. Clementine? Girl we had trouble with in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. Clementine's not a bad person, at least from what I've seen. Of course you'd say that. You got that honor among thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. You think I'm bad? You have maniacs running around out there who are much, much worse. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Harvey? You have something to say? No. That's it. That's right. He knows what he done. There ain't nothing more to say. Uh, it's clear your brother doesn't belong here. Javi and his people have to go. You're overreacting. It was a scuffle over supplies. Uh, we've exiled people for less. Sorry, David. Your soldiers are already wild enough. We can't add more crazy to the mix. Take Javi and everyone in quarantine to the gate. Give them a pack with a bare minimum to survive. Thanks, David. Appreciate the help. Fucking bullshit. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. That's fucked up, man. It's what the fuck? Hand. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. Oh. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. That's fucked up. You take our fucking Just doctor too? Okay. Fucking horseshit. I mean, the thing is, I know it sucks now, and I gotta, I gotta seek faith in the fact that he will come back and help us later. Because if I told them what happened, yeah, maybe I would have been able to stay. But oh, that's still a fucking kick in the dick. Hypocritical bastards, dude. You're lucky I don't gouge your fucking eyes out with my thumbs. You hear me, asshole? David packed this. He did. They said- Start walking. What about Eleanor? Walk. Eat shit. Answer my fucking question. God damn it, Harvey! Let go of me! This isn't her fault, Trip. You're mad at the wrong person. Do not fuck this up. There's a settlement a few miles west of here. Don't come back. Did you piss in someone's oatmeal back there? Thought you were gonna play along. We trusted you. What the hell, man? Everything was going okay. At first. I don't know what happened back there. Yeah, well, I got a pretty good idea what's gonna happen out here. Let's just see what they gave us. Knowing them, it's probably a butter knife and a stick of gum. They could have just shot us. More than once. Oh, how fucking neighborly. What's that? It looks like a map. And that's his bag. Give one to everyone. Ava did say David packed the bag. Why the hell is it tied to a baseball bat? David's sense of humor was always poorly timed. Looks like they're expanding. Some of these areas are marked clear.
pretty sure David wants us to go there. We don't even know where the hell we are on this thing. We're right here. Okay. There's Richmond. That helps. That's where we are. And that's where we need to go. Just gotta head north. And to find north, we need to find the North Star. Isn't it this puppy over here? Is that it? Uh, I remember something about it facing toward the Little Dipper. Oh, so this one here. That's it. We need to go this way. What else is in there? Not a whole lot. Flashlight. Not enough weapons. No food. Let's go. At least we got our bat back. Trip, come on. What's up? I can't lose anyone else. I'm telling you, I can't. Prescott, Conrad, maybe Eleanor. Knock that shit off, Trip. You're better than that. <laughs> we'll see. <sighs> Sorry, man. Rough day, to say the least. I know you got my back. And I got yours. Of course. After you. Pretty shitty afternoon, guys. But what do you do? He, he, like, that was our option to sell David down the river. But you know what? I feel like we weren't going to have a choice anyway. That's my guess. I could have been completely wrong about that. But I don't know. I gotta tell you, man, I thought you and Kate were, you know. I mean, I saw you kiss her in the junkyard, and uh, I ain't judging, mind you. I'm just curious. What's the story? You know what? If he's gonna trust ain't us, we're gonna. Business, I know, but what have we got to lose out here? Just be honest. I. Hey. Man, it's all right. Go for it. I do have feelings for her. And maybe I shouldn't, but that doesn't just make him go away. Uh, no harm in saying it. Hell, only real harms in not saying it when you should. It's always a mess, ain't it? What's that? Who you love, who loves you. If they're one and the same or otherwise, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Goddamn mess. And it never quite washes out. Eleanor and I, we were... something at some point. But nothing now. I respect her wishes. I really do. I just wish my heart respected mine. Jesus got his eye on something. I mean, we do have some pretty... What you got for us, man? Listen. Tell me that isn't what I think it is. About a quarter mile out. Heading the same way we are. Well, we could hit walkers any second. We better scoot. Oh shit, get ready guys. Okay, book alive people. I whip, out, whip out the bat, baby. Ooh. Respect, brother, let's go. Swing for the fences, swing bada bada. Woo! And it's out of here. Face. Yes! Come on, man. Move your ass. You want a piece of this? Dude, don't fuck around. Just go with them. Oh, 
shit. Come on, go, go, go. Come on, you're better than that, mash. Is that Clem? Sup, girl? You should be more careful with this. We're even now. I thought you were getting out of here. I was. The walkers are everywhere. I had to cover myself in walker guts to get away. Come on. We're heading to a factory nearby. Should be safe. I thought you were going to Richmond. New Frontier kick you out? Doesn't surprise me. Not one bit. That's what they do. They leave people to die. David gave us a place to go, for now. David? That asshole's still around? This is gonna sound really weird, but... He's my brother. What? Wait, this place we're going, David sent you there? It's supposed to be safe. Clem. You can't trust him, Javi. I learned that the hard way. I never wanted to need people again. But I had nowhere else to go. The New Frontier gave me this and made me one of them. They promised they'd help him. That turned out to be a lie. We gotta be really cautious here. A little bit closer. I guess we never really found out what happened to him. Huh? No! Good choice. Kids don't know what the hell you're saying yet either at that age. Tiffle Prox. Not that one. Let's try this little one. There it is. There it is. That's annoying. So we have to give him a shot, but he's gonna cry. Just what you need. No more, no less. Oh, Jesus. Clem. Dr. Lingard, what's the matter with you? I'm... I'm fine. Clem, please don't. The vancomycin. That's the last of it. It'll be wasted on AJ. I told you. It could save someone's life if used right. You don't know that for sure. Sadly, I do. It's my curse. Your curse? Knowing when someone's gonna die. I'm sorry, Clem. I tried everything. I 
I really did. This will help him get better. Nothing can help your boy now. Clem, put the drugs back before anyone finds out you took them. You know what they do to thieves here. There's still time. Ah! I'm sorry, Goofball. He's right. This will only make things worse. You shouldn't be over here. What is that in your hand? What are you doing? Please tell me this isn't what it looks like. Don't worry about it. I'm already putting them back. Oh, Clem. How could you? I said I'm putting them back. Yeah, right. She's a goddamn thief. Good job. Now, fuck off, What's dude. What's going on here? We caught her trying to take those drugs. What the hell, Clem? We already did everything we could for that boy. How could you betray our trust like this? You say that, but if AJ dies, it's on me. I'm the one who's left alone, not you. So that gives you the right to ransack our fucking stores? Easy, David. You were told those drugs wouldn't help. That waste, that'll cost someone's life down the road. Someone in this camp. Someone who contributes to our survival. We opened our arms to you, made you one of us. This is how you repay us? By stealing? By putting yourself before the group? You're done here. You broke our rules, Clem. Violated our trust. There's no place for you in the New Frontier. That's not fair. I tried to do the right thing. If we can't trust you, we can't have you around. Maybe we should give her another chance. Don't fight me on this, Paul. You know what Joan would say if she were here. I'm sorry, Clem. You brought this on yourself. Come on, AJ. We don't need this place anyway. Uh-uh. He stays. Can't take him with you. That ship has sailed. I'm not leaving without him. AJ can't travel. All we can do now is make him comfortable. I'm not leaving without him. Let him go, Clem. He'll only drag you down out there. It's what's best for both of you. No! You monsters! What about this? What was it all for? Don't forget, I'm one of you. Not anymore. Let her say goodbye. We owe her that much, at least. Fine. You heard her. Say what you need to say, then you go. Please don't make me regret this. Oh, that that last one that clutched plucked my heartstrings. That that's that was that was not nice. Poor little dude. I thought AJ would be the one. Finally. The one what? The one who didn't die. At least AJ had you while he could. Even if it was only for a little bit. My little goofball. That's what I get for trusting other people. Again. This is what David circled on the map. Our smelly friends are back. All right, get ready. The one, two, woo.
Uh oh, that's not gonna work. If too many of them push against this, it might give. Gotta find a way in. We gotta hurry, doggy. The door's not gonna work. Well, we can try. No, go for the door. Oh wait, uh, no, I shouldn't have done that. Shit. Look for another way in. It's our only chance. Whoa, man. This thing ain't as strong as we thought. Hurry it up. All right, all right, all right. I don't hear anything in there. Good enough for me. I thought I heard humming for a minute. Pick up the pace, homie. Okay, let me do it then. Fuck, go. Select it. Haul ass, lift. Oh, it's too heavy. I need help. Here they come. I can... Uh, fuck. I can raise it a little, but... I don't know, something's wrong with it. Jammed or some shit. Maybe we can force it open. We're gonna have to. Just roll under it, doggy. What can we do? Well, there's a car. With no wheels. Shit! God damn it! Of fucking course it's in there. Here we go! Get ready! Execute! Grab it, man! Don't bother to look at it! Take fucking talk, doggy! I'm going, hold on! God, he doesn't move with that much haste, does he? Crank! I'm mashing X! That's it! Won't go any higher! Everyone get in! Jesus, let's go! What about Trip? Did he make it? Go! Watch your foot! Woo! Damn, man. That was too close. <sighs> Hopefully that door holds him. Just keep it quiet and, it, you know, it might... Might. I don't know. Hey! I'm here! David! Don't you dare let that fucking baby killer in. Clem, you idiot! Don't make me do this! Clem... Don't do it, Javi! Hey! Open up! He'll die. He deserves worse! He has a son, Clem. Just like you did. The fuck?! Open it. What the hell are you doing here? Ask your brother. She's trouble. Trust me. She's with me. I owe her my life. She told us some pretty ranting stuff about you, man. What did she say? That you left her to die. No, we kicked her out. A little girl, all alone out there. Do you think Mariana could have survived that? We had rules. Clem broke him. I would have done the same to anybody. She knew what would happen. Don't feel sorry for her. To anybody, huh? You broke the rules for Kate and Gabe. And I'll accept the consequences. Unlike her. Did he suffer? Please. I have to know. No. I wouldn't have let him. But I didn't have to worry about that. He lived, Clem.
He lived. But how? He was dying. Clem said so. AJ bounced back. He was stronger than we thought. It was... a miracle. You're lying. That's great! Clem, this is good news! How am I supposed to believe you? Clementine, please, I'm telling the truth. Where? Where is AJ now? I don't know for sure. But he's in Richmond? Dr. Lingard took care of the boy. He'll know how to find him. Then I'm going back. None of us are going anywhere until the walker's clear. What's your plan, David? We used to store a vehicle up this way. Provisions. I came to get you set up. And? And say goodbye. I don't want you to worry about Kate and Gabe. I'll take care of my family from now on. That's I'll mad fucked. Me. Wait. This is a send-off? You're, you're just seeing me on my merry way. You think I want this? Well, you're not doing much to stop it. I don't see another way. Shit! Board it up. We need something to buffer. Something heavy. There! Help me! Here we go, push! Oh, gotta hold up. Wait a half second. Where'd you find this? Over there. Show me. The hell is this stuff? Wait, that's they stole it. The hell is all this? Supplies from the air airfield. Handy. Don't want to just take them, but. I might be going crazy, but I think these came from Prescott. That's Phantom Punch. I don't understand how all this got here. Like you don't know. Hey, none of this stuff was here before. I don't have a damn thing to do with it. We've only ever kept a few basic supplies here for scouts, for emergencies. Your people looted this stuff from Prescott, David. Come on, we can't know that. Who else knew about this place? Your outfit is the only one that gutted my town. This is bigger than just Prescott. There's spoils from other towns here, too. Towns I heard got raided a while back. There, there's stuff here from the kingdom. Look how many there are already. Goddamn hurts here, the honors. Hurry the fuck up. You hurry up. Wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't gone all trigger happy on David's family. Take cover. Fuck him. I'd do that little bitch again just to see her head pop. You sure as hell are stupid, ain't you? You only just realizing that now? I told you. Joan is on the warpath. Last thing we need is people getting wind of all this stuff. Look at all this shit. We're freaking rolling in it. I'll give you that. Just glad we found some more smokes. Don't say anything. That shit is the new gold. Don't say anything. Shame you can't take it with you. David? I thought better of you, Max. I really did. David, come on, man. We're a unit. There's no need for... God damn all this noise. He's getting away. Jesus is the fastest. Oh, that bitch is mine, doggy. No. Get Badger. I got him. As long as he's not a honey badge, I think we'll be okay. Get up, dude! Start swinging for some fences! Quick, he's reloading! Fuck you! Ah! <laughs> 
Hit him with the teapot! Or the cup! Ah! Hit him again! We're not done here! Fuck you! Oh! Trip's coming! Very citizen junkyard. You are not the fly in my arena. If I'd have known you were David's brother, I'd have shoved that gas can down your throat and lit you up like a candle. But this'll do. Shoot him in the fucking dick! Oh! You know that's not gonna work. You're gonna have to hit him in the head. You, you, you took my goddamn guts out. I'm, I'm, fuck. This is for Mariana. She was a sweet little girl, just minding her own business. Not anymore. Fuck her. And fuck you too. Execution. Fuck this sick bastard. Get it over with. Do it. Come on. Do it. What are you waiting for? Absolutely. fucking I'm Without waiting for the prompt. I'm waiting for the prompt. <laughs> ah! God, he's tough. Holy shit. It's enough, man. He's gone. It's enough. That is enough. He's dead. Richmond. Come on, David. This is Richmond. What's that supposed to mean? What's that supposed to mean? There's no use holding out, Max. The best you can do is make things right. We... we weren't doing it without support inside Richmond. I knew it, man. Joe was in on it. We did it on her orders. She... She said we needed it to survive. I wanted to let you in, but she told me you'd never go for it. I'm... I'm sorry. It is too late for sorry, you backstabbing shitbag. Please, don't kill me. I'll help you. I'll, I'll tell everyone in Richmond about this. I'll help you get back inside. Expose her to the others. We don't need your help. I'm begging you! I don't normally do the hardcore thing, so I went for it. They're such hypocrites, man. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan... What about the other two? Fucked up. Oh. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? I wouldn't shed any tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. You damn right it did. Bastard deserved everything he got. Be careful, Javi. Act like a beast. You risk what makes you human. Don't become the thing you hate. Javi's earned my trust. And if any of you had any brains, you'd say the same. I'm sure you did the right thing. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. 
I remember that. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human life isn't exactly high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You sure you'll be okay on your own? To be honest, I think my odds are better than yours. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. Jesus is a tricky bastard. I, I have need faith. to get back to Richmond fast. I have loved ones in there. We both do. We all do. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Hey, the mess never washes out. Might as well get neck deep. We're gonna need allies in Richmond. Lingard and Clint, they're our best bet. If I can get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Of course, David. You're my brother. I never forgot that. Even if you did. I'm glad to hear that, Javi. You and I... We should talk. When this is done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in round back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on. We gotta get on the move. Herd's closing in. We gotta go. Step on it, David. I'm thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group this big can't exactly sneak around. Particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, we'll see you back at the house. Roger that. I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? I'm pretty sure I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ's being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. Give me a little credit, Clem. I can handle David. I really hope you're right. But you're no dummy. Your instincts have been right most of the time. I know you'll make the right call. See you when I see you. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. Okay, let's be careful here. You know Javi Garcia? He used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That Javier Garcia? That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical center. We go in, we get L, we get Kate and Gabe, we get out. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. All right. Let's hang out here for a while. Smoke break. Damn. 
Damn it. We need a distraction. How's your throwing arm? Is that all we can do? No, that'll 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 ruin the whole power. Let's go for the window. What the hell was that? Let's check it out. You go first. Didn't want to put the whole thing in the dark. That Still could cause a big it. problem. Findell, tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Javi! We thought you were... I was... super worried. Hey, buddy. I'm fine. I'm just fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Then let's go. Wait, Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. I felt like she was... Sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like he was no longer in charge. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. What? W what do you mean? It's David's fight, Kate. And we're in it with him. He needs our help. Kate, come You're on! You're not hearing me. This is not our problem. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? W what about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, we don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he, he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. We're gonna go to David's house. Javi! It's the best bet we got. It's all we got. I've got a gun in the room they gave me. Sounds like we might need it. Kate's being selfish. I'll come with you. I understand we'll why. Catch up with you guys. Sounds good. But think of the kids, dude. There's no right answer here. Don't. It's okay, buddy. She's mad at me. Not you. No, it's not that. It's... You'll think it's stupid. What's up? I just wish Clementine was still with us. We ran into her. Really? I hope she came back with you. I... I wish she was around. I know, I know, she's tough, but... If we run into her, she could really use a friend right now. Yeah. Me too. We need to go. Okay? Okay.
I feel like I'm doing a lot more for David than he's doing for me. But at the same time, I feel like that's good karma. You know this is what David lives for, right? What? A brawl. I only ever saw him truly happy when he was talking about being at war. The world going to shit? I guarantee. That was the best day of his life. He gets to live life on the front line. We were in the thick of it, Kate. If he thrives in this shit, that only improves our chances. Just because he likes it doesn't mean he's good at it. Took your damn time. Come on, we have to hurry. Wait a second. David told us to come here. He's talking to the others now. Trust me, shit's about to fly. He's gonna need our help. We gotta get on the move. He's waiting for us. There's no more time to lose. Get them to safety first. Then we can go. This is the best way to protect them. They'll be safe here. Don't worry. I'll come back for you. Both of you. You better. I don't like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. Javi! Kate and Gabe? Safe. I knew I could count on you, brother. We're gonna fix this, together. Of course. Kate and Gabe are safe. I got your back. Thank you. It means a lot that you do. What's going on here? We're just getting started. And despite what we all agreed, you smuggled your brother back into Richmond. What happened to you, David? It hurts me to see you betray your own people. You've got some damn nerve. We used to be so close. Now I hardly know who you are. Oh, you're one to talk. If anyone betrayed Richmond, it's you, Joan. What are you people talking about? So this is your play? You think you can pin this mess on me? What mess? Would someone please explain what's going on? I can. Lonnie? Go ahead, Lonnie. Tell us. They attacked us. Murdered Max and Badger. You son of a bitch. They would have got me too. But I was lucky. Are you kidding me? You have the nerve to accuse us? Their bodies are in the factory. See for yourself. Why don't you tell them what you were doing up there, Lonnie? Tell them how Joan ordered you to kill and loot. Is that true, Joan? <laughs> It's nothing but a smoke screen. A pretty damn transparent one, if you ask me. Lonnie, please tell me this isn't true. We did that, raided those communities, hurt those people. Because David told us to. Not Joan. I'm sorry, David. I can't do this anymore. I can't hurt anyone else. You fucking liar! David had nothing to do with this! No. I am done lying. This is the first right thing I've done in a long time. This is bullshit. He's covering for Joan. David, just stop! We knew this couldn't last forever. We confronted him. Me. Badger and Max. We were done. We let him know. He said he didn't need us anymore. Not with his brother here now. That's when he... That's when Badger and Max... That's enough! David, stop! Paul, you have to stop her. Or the blood from those raids, it's on your hands! Don't let Joan get away with this. Paul! She's working you like a puppet, man. Can't you see that? 
Don't let yourself get played into doing something you regret. Maybe we should sleep on this. Give everyone some time to cool down. No. Don't try and drag him into your mess. The things you've done, they're an assault on what we built here. You and your brother, you're going to have to answer for them. I still have friends here. Allies. This won't stand. You brought this on yourself, David. I'm sorry to say it, but you're done here. They were our family, David. How could you? I'll give you family! Jesus Christ! They, what the hell did he just do? Wow! I'm in the minority there. They came clean. I honored his request. And I'm in the minority there as well. But he lived anyway. Oh, oh my goodness. You and 71% destroyed his skull. 5% of players kill Badger quickly. So just like... Just like a single... Or they probably just like shot him or something. 17... Oh, you could probably maybe hit him a different way. 17.8 let him turn. 5.9 let someone else do it. You and 40% killed Max. Wow, in the minority. Again. Makes me wonder if I should have done it. Because he was... he was, But he could have lied like what's his vagina did. Oh, well. It makes things interesting, I guess, guys. What else we got? Stuck to David's plan. A little bit in the majority there, but it was actually pretty even Stevens. But I don't know who to believe anymore. For the most part, I was in the minority. Three of five things I was in the minority. That that's just I don't even know I don't even know what to believe anymore. I feel like it's really difficult. The thing is, I, I David's been gone for so long, we don't really know what's going to happen at this point. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna it's leaving things unanswered. But there you go, guys. Finally, after many, many months of waiting, episode three has come to plan or come to play, I should say, above the law. And it's nice. Like a lot went down. I'm still half confused. I still don't know exactly what's going on. Um, I don't know who to believe. I, I mean, I, I feel like I'm siding towards David, but I don't know anymore. I mean, it sounded like those guys gave the like they mentioned that it was Jan or Joan, sorry, who gave the order. But then they said it in front of her. I don't know anymore. Like. I don't know. I'm, I think David is, is innocent in this, but we'll have to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you haven't yet, be sure to like and follow my pages on social media. Those will be down below in the description, and we'll play at the end card of this video. If you're interested, you want to get yourself a shirt or a hoodie, there's a link to my Spreadshirt shop in the description as well. Thank you guys so much again. Take it easy. Have a fantastic day. I'll be seeing you soon for plenty more content to come, but until then, let's hand things over to Knox Hill. Have a good one, guys. Who's the man with the plan? Hmm. If you feel trouble, wild and wild, on these violent and hit you 8,000. Wait a minute, hold that stylist style. Dan, goddamn Billy Jack, we still riding tires flat. I hear them sirens, sea shots flying, so we driving by your back. If they ain't vibing, lie with that. Got me dressed up in all black. What up? Hood up, and I see them haters. Try to run with us, they don't need inhalers. Gotta breathe them hard, just like the beta players. Grab your respirators, night invaders get like sabered. Mass on for the shooters, move like trash. To bed intruder, got that Glock and got them woofers. Just press play, I'll keep it moving. Who is Knox? Still, you damn fools. Keep it fresh like canned food. There ain't nothing we can't do, so tune into that damn kill. Yeah, it was never, ever a game.